Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where for me it has been almost exactly a month. I seem to keep doing this. It's been almost exactly a month since I've actually opened this particular save file uh, with Ulvadira here. Um, yeah, I've been playing multiplayer with my friends and it's been super fun. Uh, but I just haven't really felt like I've had the time to play my own personal save. I'm usually, you know busy. <laughs> Life gets busy. For instance, I am currently in an Airbnb. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. It's a lovely Airbnb that I share with one of my coworkers who's also been a friend for a long time. Um, so I felt comfortable sharing an Airbnb space with her. It's a lovely little house and it's just, it's just great. I'm honestly really enjoying it. I've never stayed at an Airbnb with just one other person for work. Uh, we have like a little kitchen and everything. Anyway, it's been super great. Um, I do feel a little better about recording here than I did in uh, a hotel, for instance, because I could not talk at this volume without feeling like I was screaming into the next person's walls. However, these walls are pretty well insulated here, and my friend, I told her that I record YouTube videos, and she's like, that's fine, and I'm sure she thinks it's a little weird, <laughs> but she plays a ton of video games. Uh, and she's actually not here right now, so I felt pretty good about starting out a video at least. Because it's like the hello everybody thing that I'm like, oh, I feel a little weird about that. <laughs> but anyway, I actually have a, have a list of a few things I would like to do in this. And I'm also hoping this video works because, you know, moving setups sometimes uh, messes things up. So I'm just hoping and praying that this turns out. Um, but I have a desk. I have a nice room. I have a kitchen. We have a nice huge flat screen TV in the living room. The couches are comfortable. I just cleaned a little bit today, which was kind of nice, honestly. Like, I live nomadically, right? So the most, most I do is clean my car. Um, but honestly, even when I had, like, my little place in my friend's basement, like, a couple years ago, I really enjoyed just doing, like, little tiny house chores. It was, like, a bedroom, kitchen, and, like, a little tiny sitting room, and a bathroom. And, like, it was just this tiny little square of the house, and it was mine, and only I messed it up. So me cleaning it was, like, I don't know, nice, cathartic, and I just liked doing it, you know? I didn't have to clean up other people's messes, just mine. And it's just kind of nice here, after having been very nomadic for so long, and like having a little place that's kind of my own for like two months. We're supposed to be here for like two months. So anyway, that's a, I guess a quick update on my life that I might edit out because I don't know. <laughs> that's not really the purpose of a Baldur's Gate video. <laughs> but yes, I have a list of things I would like to do. We need to finish killing the slavers. Hooray. Uh, we need to deal with the necromancy book, which I still don't actually know how to do. Um, and we need to, what was the other? oh, the phase spiders. We need to go back and wreck the phase spiders, which works out because apparently the jewel that goes in the, if you remember way back from the necromancy book, it had a large opening with the mouth. There's apparently an amethyst that goes in there that matches the eyes. Um, which is, you know, I knew something went there because it's obviously some, needs something there, but apparently we missed it when we went to the phase spider area. There was, um, a jewel in there. Um, also, but first, big change, this is the last thing on the list, is I need to respec Will, and I need to respec Asterion. I have learned in the month or so since I've last played that Asterion is actually super, super powerful, especially if you build him with the Assassin build. Also, having him be able to open things for you on a pretty regular basis is OP. Um, so... <laughs> I have decided that I'm probably going to have to bring out Asterion more. I'm going to drag him kicking and screaming, doing good throughout the realm, and he's going to hate it. Um, but I'm just going to have to, like, not worry, I guess, about the, dis the, the, the disapproval or whatever I'm going to get from him. So that's exciting. Um, so I'm going to be switching out Gale and Will per periodically because I like them. I like having my happy squad around. Um, but Will, uh, I haven't used his specialization, like, at all. I gave him Pact of the Blades because it seemed thematically appropriate. Haven't used it at all. And I think that's part of the reason Will is not as powerful as he could be. So, I am going to over, respec. Then through. Uh, I have learned much. Also, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. The other thing on the list, this just came out. This will tell you potentially how long it takes between episodes. I still haven't caught up on my editing. I'm still like several hours behind on like content. Uh, I don't really know what we were doing the last time we were here, but a new thing just dropped yesterday. It's this. It's the magic mirror. So this will date this video. 
uh, Magic Mirror, we can now edit our appearance in game. Let me in. I started a conversation. Let me in. Uh, which we had been waiting for from the get-go, right? Everybody wants people to at least change their makeup and change their hair mid-game. It's nice. Uh, I'm never going to change my hair because I love it. Um, but... I do want to make my eye more thematic. I forgot this was the makeup I had. Oh, nice. I love it. Uh, I knew it was metallic, but I forgot it was this. I haven't seen her face this up close in a long time. Um, you can change your voice, um, and you can change your identity, obviously, which makes sense. Body art, eyes, makeup, hair. You cannot change your body size, which is a little odd, but you also cannot change your race and sub-race, which to me does make sense. Um, I think I watched a video briefly where someone brought up the point that um, a lot of stuff is tied to, like, a lot of dialogue is tied. Not a lot. A, a small but important chunk of dialogue is significant to your race and or sub-race. Um, and so having that change mid-game or change frequently would be a little weird, and there are some decisions that do carry over. Uh, so, so having that change mid-game, I think, would probably mess things up. The size thing is a little weird. Um, I know, like, there's, like, a whole, there's, like, mod, like, you, you gotta change, like, the, the model and, like, the armors and the way things fit on there, but I figure since they already have that, you know, those, the armor fit to, like, the different size models that you could change your size, but, um... Anyway, um, I do want to see if I, <gasps> maybe I won't be able to. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, I'm really sad. Uh, I have flame yellow. Oh, you guys, it looks like I'm, I'm stuck with this. I wonder if I click the heterochromia. <gasps> Heck yeah! <laughs> click the heterochromia. Oh wait, no, maybe not. Oh, wait, hang, hang on, cancel. Oh, flame yellow. I hit the wrong one. I'm an idiot. Right eye. No. Okay, we're stuck. Man, I might have to get a mod that will let you re like. And I mean, I understand that it's like it should not should it it being different is good. Like, it just, you know, distinguishes it. But I'd honestly rather have it be, like, pure white or pure, pure black or something. Kind of like, um, Will's eye. You know, it's pure white, basically. Oh, that makes me sad. I was so excited. Uh, ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> I was really hoping to have my aesthetic back, but at least my good eye is on the side with the with the markings, but again, this tat that, that scar was, was I did that before the game even started, I am pretty sure <laughs> so, um, I guess what? I just want to leave, yeah but, well, I guess if anybody's playing this and doesn't know, I am curious, when I first got in the game, I was like are they gonna do something with this, like whole little ruins area but maybe, I feel like it might be for like the stuff they're planning on, like, releasing maybe over patches and stuff. But, or maybe someday you get to actually have your own cute little campsite, your own cute little tent, unlike, freaking, you're, because you're not like anybody else, and everybody else's is nice, and ours sucks. Anyway, let's go talk to Withers. Also, what? Holy cow. My freaking, like, level... Fate spins along Level four... I think my level four monk has sixty-two health. Dost thou require a new I don't know what I do. <gasps> Oh, mayhaps. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. I was about to freak out, but hang on. Let me. I think I was like, I can't change my companion's class, but maybe if I go up and ask him as somebody else. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. All right, scary godman. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou as thou desire. I'm pretty sure he is. No spoilers. He's at least affiliated with that recorder god. Uh, so we are doing the row. Yes. Um, confirm. Yeah, I don't want to change his stats or anything. 
Oh, I'm du I'm stupid. I, I was like freaking out because I was like, well, it still is a rogue, but I have to go into the level up screen. It's just reset me. Uh, I wish that was a, I don't know, I wish I could just do that from there, but whatever. Step, yep, 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 yep. Level up, rogue level three. We are picking a different subclass. Assassin. A duel implies chivalry. You're too busy getting the job done for honor. Okay. I think assassin works better than arcane trickster anyway. I, don't, I guess I don't know him very well, but... I'll give him alert. The plus five to initiative is good for him. Okie dokie, Smokey. Now he can do... Well, we'll see. I, I still need to learn how to play him. I, apparently you're supposed to hide a lot, which is not my forte. But, um, he's been absolutely critical in a couple of my games. Well, specifically one game. Um, but now I am going to... No one back home will ever believe this. Dismiss Gale. Oops. Oh. No one stopped me yet. I'm going to dismiss Gale and respect Will. And get, it, get rid of that useless subclass. Tell me, what can I do for you? You're so shiny, ha! Huh? I question the wisdom of I was of that smiling. Decision, Did you see that? So be it. Now I'll I'm sad. I'll be here in the meantime, <laughs> idling away the hours. Now I'm sad. Oh, Gaul, that's right. This is so dumb. I saw this. Someone on my Discord pointed it out. Why? Why am I taking their stuff? I don't want I don't want their alchemy pouches. I definitely don't want their camp supply packs. And I don't want a keychain? Why do I have a keychain? I don't want it. I'm just gonna freaking put it all in the camp thing. I don't care. What does this keychain do? I don't know. Send to camp. I don't know what that keychain does. I haven't I obviously haven't needed it at this point. I have my own keychain, I know I do. Maybe it'll bring us closer. Maybe it'll bring us well, closer. Join. That's the spirit. I do really hope they eventually um sharp as ever. Let us friggin' like change the way Anyone? we do inventory. Like I want to be able when I'm in camp, I want to be able to access everybody's inventory. And so I can like I don't have to like keep switching them in and out to like try to equip them with like ideal gear. I don't like that. Ah, yeah, okay. I shall be here. Ah, uh, change my class. As the We're still gonna be a warlock, of course. That armor does look so good. It's really cool. Subclass, the fiend. We're not gonna change that. I don't want to change any of that. We'll do pack to the chain. I don't know if it's the best one, but. It, it seems it's nice. I have a my necromancer has something familiar and it's been pretty useful. Oh my gosh, where I so this is like the part that I it wasn't a reload. This was I had to level Will up anyway. And here's counter spell. Counter spell is a level three abjuration spell. Uh, I only heard about counter spell like two days ago. Let's get it and see how it goes. That list of things, by the way, is only things we need to get done before I want to go to the Underdark. Because we need to rescue the Duke. And we need to still- freak. So we still need to save Marina. I, but here's the thing. My friend and I, my friend that I play with, she was like, let's go do this. Let's go look at the, the swamp. And I was like, sure. We were having a hard time with Tears Paladins, by the way. Like the fake, fake Tear Paladins. And we were like level three. And I was like, okay, and then she's like, oh, she figures out what's going on in the swamp, and she's like, oh, let's go get it, let's go get the witch, and I was like, okay, because what well, from everything I've heard, it's a level five thing, but I wasn't going to tell her that, I was like, all right, let's go get our butts kicked, you know? It took us two tries. Two tries. And I think it was, think I think it was because, partly, because we had Asterion, and my friend knew how to use him. To be fair, me dragging Asterion around might not change things very much. Uh, because I don't know if I'll be able to use him properly. Because apparently you're supposed to like put him in stealth a lot, and like I don't do stealth in any. I don't play rogues at all. I'll play like I play warrior tank types, and I'll sometimes play mage caster types. Uh, none 
of my like other save files that I've made that I haven't really played much on, um, except for like a couple of them. But I've made like several, you know, characters. Obviously, I have one ranger, which is kind of roguelike, you know, um, and that's it. Like I don't have any rogue types at all. They're either casters or they're like tanks. And I consider monks to be kind of tankish, so that counts. And druids. <laughs> uh, they're like, well, the monk is more tankish and a druid's more caster. But yeah, I don't I do not do the sneaky stuff. I don't play sneaky characters. So I'm like, blah, 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 I don't know. So we still need to travel to Moonrise Towers. Uh, the masterwork weapon, I think, needs to have, yeah, needs to happen in the Underdark. Finding the Night Song. Rescue the Trapped Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what should we do with it? <laughs> They've been known to drive people mad. Uh, anyway, let's go to the phase spiders, which were in the... Oh, first. Save. See? See me? <laughs> See the date? Hey! Save. All right, let us go to the Blighted Village. Let me go into the well. Brian, how is the rat diet going? It may soon come to an end if you don't shut your mouth. How is the rat diet going? He asks. Will. That was a bit antagonistic. I forgot. I need to catch. Ah, speak with animals. Into the well. Oh geez, why is it? My my graphics card's a little bit behind apparently, but I'm like I don't care. But I might care more if things keep popping in like that. Oh, you guys, I'm just so happy. I have my favorite candle going, and I ordered a new one, and I can play at my normal volume of like speaking. And I did I did tell my friend why 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 have my freaking things reset? There's no game in where I said to reset the. Um, where I said to reset the tutorials, but anyway, I know we completed, I am pretty sure anyway, that we completed, oh, oh, there was something in here too when I was playing with my friends the other day. I have, I have learned so much, like I said, uh, not enough probably to be, you know, at any, at any way decent at anything. Oh, have we not even been in here at all? Maybe in this save, I didn't go What's in here? In here. Oh my goodness, I didn't. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway, there's some sage stuff in here that we can be doing. Oh my goodness, spider step boots. Immune to being in web. Your movement speed is not affected, affected by webbed surfaces. I will take that. And we will actually give what those now? boots to Asterion oh, because I need mind. him to stealth around. Um, well, in it. Ooh, I haven't even Watch like. Oh god, poor guy doesn't have anything. Um. He's not proficient. I think he just wears clothes. Oh no, he wears light armor. Okay. Everybody I work with is like wants to go just in clothing. Or light armor, and I keep getting this cool <laughs> freaking medium armor. I'm like, who wants it? Everybody I wear, like freaking Carlac, is like a barbarian, right? And then you have freaking Will, normally, wears light armor, and freaking, what's his name? Uh, Gail, who I notice in editing that I frequently mix up, like fairly frequently. I call them by, their na by each other's names. Um, oh, look, he's still human, technically. Anyway, I got distracted. Uh, there is stuff. I believe we read this before, but this is about a woman who is um, trying to become. She's like a high elf, I think, and she's trying to become one with Lolth. Essentially, she wants to become part of Lolth. There is a yep. I'll give it a shot. 
It is time I will forever transcend this blasphemous flesh and refashion myself in the queen's image. No longer will I be bound to this lowly form, the base shape of organ and bone. Even the arachnomancers of Menzobaran shall weep at my feet, their little spells so feeble and fleeting. Today I found the house of Loth, and I shall be its matriarch. Take that. Where is the other, the bloody journal? Oopsie. So she does, um... Yeah, a high elf exalted by Loth herself. My draw captors cannot fathom it, but I see their houses downfall and the visions granted by the Spider Queen herself. When that day comes when some unnamed whelp from an insignificant house cuts the matron mother's throat, I will escape, I will find solitude, and I will worship Loth with my very soul. I'm wondering if this um, is talking about Dritzt, which I don't think I've said in one of these videos. I did just recently. There's a little tiny used bookstore in this town. And I bought the first, it came in like a big compendium, you know, but I bought the first three books of Dritz's, um, his, his novels. He's got like 20. Um, but, um, yeah. So I figured, you know, it was a crime to not, um, li you know, read the lore of my people as a drow. So <laughs> I decided, and I have so many friends who, um, oh, here we go. Oh, no, never mind. Read. There we go. A solitary spoiler. Oh, too bad they don't have uh, Gale. He would have also been inspired. Um. Why is my hair so different in that in that icon? What? Oh my goodness gracious! That does not look like me at all. Anyway, well, ah, that's so distracting to see that image. That's not what it's over on the left, is it? Read the Arachnomancer's journals at the bottom of the well. Yeah, look, this is my face. This is my beautiful face. Why would you change it? Hmm. Anyway, yes, Sage Points. I think last time I read, like, three of the journals, I must not have noticed the fourth one. Um. I might have to double check. My friend said that like the the jewel is like in the skeleton of somebody's, like in their rib cage or something. Nobody touch the spider webbing, you maniacs! Okay, we are spare apparently. We are apparently supposed to take out these phase spider eggs first. I am going to send a Starian. Oh wait! Whoa! Okay, I was like, surely if we didn't take them out, I'm pretty sure we didn't. This is Asterian should be fine. He should not get B. <laughs> There's the spider. Uh, he shouldn't be entrapped. This shouldn't be an issue. Oh, let's see though. Um, oh, I thought there was something like my friend was always like going into like a, a super stealth. Maybe that's um. Maybe it's this one? No. Let's go to the shadows. Why can't he do it? My friend could do it while he was hiding. I'm scared. No! no. Okay, new plan. Yeah, no, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think... Okay, I was like, she didn't take damage. That didn't work. Oh, I obviously don't know how to play Asterian. He's gonna die. Okay, while well, they're doing whatever they're doing, these guys need to get out here now. Oh, yeah, there's a... Oh, I forgot there's a group down here. There's a group of spiders down here. Never wanted the easy path. Uh... Let's see if we can't get Will. Oh yeah, thanks for saving what now. See if we can't get Will to throw this alchemical fire. Oh my gosh, we're just gonna inch our way past this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but thanks. Okay, there's, there's spiders. Spider eggs. 
Oh, they're already, they already hatched. Oh, she did it so fast. Oh my goodness. We do also have this. Let's do the cloud of daggers. Okay. Apparently the, the tiny babies are um, really difficult to deal with, so I don't want to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you weak to fire? Dang it, I didn't get to do any sneaks, sneaky stuff. It's okay. Good, okay. I was hoping to knock it off. Woo! Okay. Can we do it again? Dang. Target outside of normal range. I don't know what I just did. Was it like a crit thing? I don't know, but I'm gonna help Will with his spiders. Crit hit on a baby spider! Hell yeah! <laughs> no holding back. Can I do something? Oh wait, hang on. Let's move. Oh, we can't move. Um, let's kill that and go over Finding here. My way. There shouldn't be any more spider eggs. Oh, I do have to worry about the entrapment thing. I wonder. I have all the- Whoa, what is this? Where did I get that? Moonbeam? Hold on, a beam of light that damages any creature that enters the beam or starts to turn in the light. Oh, cool. That's cool. I want to do some paladin stuff. Next, next door. Oh, 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 cool. Okay. Can't slow down. I'm going to get out of the toxin. Yeah, that was, uh, that was definitely a thing I'm going to do. Misty step. I can- I should- can I heal myself without breaking the beam? I, I don't want to break the beam. I need... Oh, okay. It was the area of effect one. Dang it. I should have put Karlak in the thing, but she's she's okay-ish. Yeah, he's in... Uh, if only I could read. If only I could read. Oh, get out of the... Since when is that over there? Oh, he is, he is in stealth, though, I think. No? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to play this character. What is that? Oh, hey! It's the Dark Amethyst that I was looking for before. I mean, I... Let's see if we can maybe push him. Push him. We have a 40% chance for that. Target must be a humanoid. Sucky! Death. <laughs> Let's go over here. I don't think there's any other. It's just these two spiders, the mama and the and this other one that's bothering a <laughs> Um. We do. I did do this where I have the chance to push it, push an entity four and a half meters. Path is interrupted. Well, then move to where your path is not interrupted. Let's see if we can do this. We can push them off. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, well, we did. Um, we did kill it. You're welcome, Asterian. That was powerful. <laughs> Freaking the warlock is powerful. Look at that. No choice but to keep going. Move the moonbeam. I should be more. Oh, there. Move moonbeam. Move Moonbeam here. Heck yeah! This is so good ability! Such a good ability! I'm gonna use some more radiant fun times. And I don't have to use my spell slots for it! That's such a good ability! <laughs> In my noobish uh, opinion. Alright, Asterian! Too far. Let's have him dash. 
I think this... No, did this burn? Did I burn this? I, I still see, like, vague... Oh, okay. I see, like, vague that, but I think that is, um... Just remnants of the light? There's not this... It looks like the web, but it's, I don't think it is. I think the web got burnt. Um... Well, I guess uh, Asterion can just start looting stuff. Oh, we have what? What is this that I am getting with her? This like, this is this like level five stuff that I got for her? Or like now because like she's a, kind of a, in the fighter where she can do the two actions or whatever? This is very fun. My extra attack. I saw that as a thing. Okay, good. This is my time. Okay, but what if I don't actually want to push the spider? Because then I push it away and I don't... Well, it'll probably come back. Critical miss? Never mind. Warlocks suck. <laughs> Nothing will stand in my way. Move, Moonbeam. Yeah. What does Moonbeam do to you, Carlag? Excuse you? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Carlac lost condition moonbeam. Oh! Okay, that's something that can hurt my friends. I need to remember that. Jeez Louise. I don't want him to have it, but... Yeah. You also can apparently give it to him. Um, and he's, him and Gale, I think, are the two people who want it. Uh, which I am not going to give it to him because I'm a square, even if everybody makes fun of me for it. I'm a square and I'm proud of it. Let's just, um, go back this way again. I'm like, I need to bring Asterion out to fight for me. <laughs> no, no. I don't know what else to do with him. He was stuck on an island and he was too far to hit with range, as far as I can tell. Oh, hello. Oh! My concentration, though, was successful. Ooh, let's do that. I wasn't trying to do that. Oh my gosh, look at all this fun stuff I get to do. This is so fun. Ooh, this is so fun! That's what favors the fearless. Oh, <laughs> oh that was fun! <laughs> oh no, wait. Carla, come back. Let's march! Oh yeah. I no, I was just dang it. Sometimes I just I forget I should like freaking life. So that's progress. Get get off. Get off of that. I need to like make them separate what entities when it comes to trouble way. like that. Can I just cancel Moonbeam now? I don't know. It's gonna It's just gonna be there. I don't know, probably can get a certain distance away. Alright, Asterian. Oh wait, actually. How delicious. How On my delicious. Way. I want him to loot this spider. <laughs> Certainly. Anything up here? No. No need to have everybody running around walking through. Walking through stuff. Also, I'm filled up to the brim, so. Candle? Sure, why not? Oh, my friend did say also that um, this chasm with the bats coming out of it. I wonder what's hiding yeah. down all that dark. Apparently, it is another way to the Underdark. Uh, if you cast Featherfall. And there's supposedly a, um... There's a waypoint back here somewhere. I don't really know why you'd want to come back to this point, but maybe in the future you'll want to. Oh, well, to be fair, she's finished the game, and even she said she didn't know why anyone would want to 
come back here. So maybe there's an achievement though for finding all the waypoints, even the very obscure ones. Oh no, we did decide, sorry, we did decide that maybe if you wanted to use this as your underdark entrance, having the waypoint here would be useful. I think this spider also actually gives you a really cool armor. Um, I think it's a light armor. The poisoner's robe. Let's see. Uncommon clothing. That's right, because I could wear it as a monk, and I'm doing the unarmored monk. So I could give that to Gale, actually, and it would look really good on him. Or Carlac? But she doesn't cast spell. Let's do it a little bit on Carlac, though. She wears, um, she wears clothes. I'd love to, thanks. Think. Yeah, she wears clothes. Let's see. Mm, I mean, it looks good on her. But I like her original stuff better. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang, that's right. I gave her this. Holy cow, she has so many awesome weapons. Where did these come from? Steel forged sword. I've. They don't provoke opportunity. Sure, wear that. <laughs> the Oak Father's embrace. Medium armor would go to will. Uh, wooden shield. Oh, I had to because I couldn't. I couldn't carry it. That was right. Um, I think actually that is a finesse weapon, which means Will should maybe have it. Do I want to do the great axe? I actually really like the mall for her, honestly, and the fact that I can knock people off of stuff with the mall. I like it. I like that a lot. Um, send to... Wait, Asterion? Huh? Asterion's a clothes guy. Oh my gosh, it actually looks really good on him. He doesn't really have any poison spells, though. Neither does Gale, to be fair. I like it. I don't really like his original clothing. And it fits him, right? He's a vampire. I'm like, hey, here's the spider robe. And he's like, really? <laughs> I'm like, I can't wear it. <laughs> Even though I'm a drow. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like it. All right. Quick step. Quick step. Let's see if there's anything else. There is apparently... Spider egg. Oh boy. The dead goblin child. There's like a way out. I swear we found like a different way out of here in some some way. I think that's all. Oh, he got up there fast. Uh, well, let's all go together. Never a dull moment. And uh, I need a nap. Fresh. Yeah, I need a nap. How much farther can I go? Oh, Is hey, bake, bake. Ooh, nice. Thank you. Um. Well, there's the face spiders off the list. Very cool. And we have, we can. I think when I saw the necromancer or the, the necromancer tome in the jewel, though, that I didn't. My friend put it together and gave it to Asteria, and I again didn't see a way to destroy it even with the jewel in it because at one point it was like, oh, now you have the jewel, you can maybe destroy the book. But I'm like, if I put the jewel in there, it, at least on the options that she had, it didn't show an option to destroy it. So I keep thinking I'm gonna have to hold on to it until we meet like the enemies of the. Thay guys, the Thay necromancer type, red wizard rogue types. Um, anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and call this one here. Uh, I did talk a lot during this one, uh, which is nice to get back to that. Uh, but I usually cut out most of the combat, and I did talk a lot during the combat this time. Um, but that was a fun fight, so maybe I will include that one. I try not to, I don't know, I guess you guys can let me know. Do you want to see the combat? Do you not? 
I think it would be a little boring if I'm just like sitting there, like, you know, like, I don't always talk the whole time, because it's tiring, and also, like, what am I going to say? Um, but if you would like to see more combat, let me know, especially now, at least for a little bit, that I feel like, feel like, feel like I can actually talk and not, you know, be silent and, like, silently scream about things. Um, but yeah, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to, or no, to all my patrons, especially and including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Adam, for your support. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I also very much appreciate you. And thank you, an extra special shout out. It's been a while since I've done this. An extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your long, long and, and, very valued support. Sorry, that sounded like very corporate. I value your support. Anyway, thank you. I don't know how to say words properly, apparently. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier, my forest tier patron, my bad, uh, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.